My name is uh, Taimur. Uh, I was born in Yugoslavia. Um, I am now based in the Lutun Jamaat and I've been in Ahmadi for uh, about two and a half years now. I was born in a Christian family and, and uh, um, my spirituality has always been something that, that I was very interested in. In fact, from, from a very early age, um, I had a significant interest in, in uh, what I call the human condition, um, uh, religion and spirituality and the natural sciences and, and so on. So it, al it has always been very important to me. It's, it's, it's impossible to, to, to uh, um, do justice to, to the full story in, in, in a short amount of time, so I'll do my best to, to keep it brief. Um, it really, I think my journey started when I was very young, when I um, um, attended Christian uh, theology classes, which had left me um, somewhat um, um, disappointed because I, I couldn't really um, um, relate to the kind of a, a Christian theology and, and, and the uh, particularly issues like the sonship of, of God and, and the original sin and, and um, uh, the sort of denial of science and, and things like that. Um, so uh, uh, after that, I had moved to the UK, um, and uh, you know, because of a degree of disenchantment, I think with with uh, 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 Christianity, I had uh, I had neglected, I think, uh, uh, religion in general, and I focused much more on on my studies um, um, in natural sciences. I, I, I studied in the UK, um, and it was really since um, in the recent years, I think you know, given this whole turmoil in the world and, and uh, 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 this relentless assault on Islam in, in the media that um, really made me think that I should really get to know it a bit more. I mean, I, I've had Muslim friends since I was very young and throughout my life and certainly the kind of Islam that was being presented um, uh, in, in, you know, in the papers and on TV, it wasn't the kind of Islam I, I was familiar with and, and I thought that there was an injustice being done to it. So I started reading about you know the world in the seventh century and Arabs in Arabia and the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And you know I always say that no open-minded person I think can fail to be really taken aback you know by the the, the, the life and the legacy of, of the Holy Prophet. So um, I I thought that I could already uh, feel a, a real difference in my life. Um, and, I, and I thought, you know, if we all strive towards the Sunnah and the way of, of our Holy Prophet, then perhaps the world would really be a, a, a community of peace and brotherhood rather than war and, and confrontation. Um, and it, it also says in the Quran that, that you know, uh, uh, God intervenes between a man and his heart. And I could really feel that, that uh, my, my heart was undergoing a, a, a real transformation as I was studying Islam. And it was later on then that I met um, um, a, a guy in, in, uh, in India, I was there on business, and um, he, during conversation he told me that he was an Ahmadi, and I remember reading a short article about Ahmadiyat, and I was really curious to find out why is this community so uh, under such a, a, a threat and, and, and so, so persecuted by in the Muslim world. So um, I thought this was uh, God giving me an opportunity to find out something new. And I was instantly uh, attracted to, to this uh, the purity of Islam as embodied in, in the Ahmadiyya um, and, and the, the kind of this peaceful um, um, the, the message of, of the true Islam as it were um, so I when I when I got back to the, to the UK I, I sort of went on the internet and um, um, found the alislam.org website um, and it was that was one of the most profound moments in my life, actually, because as I as I logged onto the website the first time, I saw uh, the picture of uh, Promised Messiah, alayhi salam, and it had reminded me in an instant of a dream that I had many, many years before then, um, not even knowing its significance at the time, and, and almost having forgotten about it over the years. But that moment really the, the image of the Promised Messiah really reminded me of it. And it was a dream in which I was walking across some dusty landscape with a huge rock on my back, and it was uh, uh, and it was Promised Messiah himself who had had uh, um, just stopped me by the side of the road and just lifted this this heavy burden off my back.
um, and I thought this was ha having realized having s I often wondered who was this kind stranger who had relieved me from my burden and it was only when I saw the picture of promised Messiah Salam, on the um, Al Islam website that that I realized that that, that was him and I thought that was uh, the point of no return I think um, and it's really since then that, that um, I've, I have, uh, this is years ago, I, it's since then I've, I've been studying uh, the Ahmadi literature um, and, and, and the sort of philosophy of Islam, uh, particularly the books of, of our Khalifas and the Promised Messiah himself. Um, and it's, it's quite clear to me that uh, this is the truth. So that's why I'm an Ahmadi. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's a difficult subject actually um, um, I think it has strained my relationship with a lot of people but uh, um, such is the will of God you know it's something that gives me a sense of uh, um, it, it challenges me I think to always be true in my faith and to, re to remind me of the sacrifices I think that we need to make um, and I think the rewards and the blessings that you get in return are, are well worth the effort Um, it's difficult to single out any one thing. Um, certainly, uh, um, the, 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 the sort of spiritual framework, if you want, and the philosophy of Islam, I think, is, is the most sophisticated uh, 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 system within which one can, can understand the, the source and, and, and the purpose of existence and, and our relationship with each other and with the natural world and, and with God. So, so, so the philosophy of Islam played a, a big part. Um, but if I had to, if I had to pick up just one thing, um, it would it would be the words of uh, Khalifa Tul Masih II, um, who said when one, when asked uh, why do I believe in Islam, he said uh, because it's the truth. Again, there are so many benefits. It's difficult to uh, to pick one or two, but uh, I guess they probably all fall under 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 this this idea of uh, it had given me a, a great sense of purpose uh, and in in life, and it had given me a real sense of being on the right path um, as God intended me to be, um, and it gives me a, a tremendous sense of balance in life. Um, that one is easy. Um, God, um, I, I, I find tremendous happiness in in, in uh, every step of this journey towards God, um, and you know these steps manifest themselves in all kinds of different ways. Um, Any time and every time I do something good, even if it's something really small like picking up uh, uh, some rubbish from the floor and throwing it in the bin, you know, uh, um, um, or showing kindness to people around me. Um, that always makes me feel closer to God and it always reminds me of, of having to um, always be mindful of, of pleasing God.